So, hello again, class. Inilil ko in here. So, may joke tayo ngayon, class, na? So, ang joke natin is, saan maraming bading? Eh, mali. Saan pinakamaraming bading, class? Saan, class? So, ang sagot natin, class, baklaran, mali yun. Kasi, sa baklaran, maraming bading. Ang joke natin ngayon, class, saan pinakamaraming bading? So, saan, class? Eh, di sa room. So, bakit sa room, class? Kasi, andun yung papa. <laughs> okay. So, for today, class, share ko lang yung screen. We're to discuss class experiment number four entitled Bulk Density and Voids of Course Agreed. Okay? So, ang pinaka-objective natin class for today is ito. Siyempre, yun yun. To determine class yung dalawa. So, dalawa yung class, no? Bulk density, tsaka yung voids. Tapos, ang focus natin ngayon class is yung course agreement. Okay? So, yan yung ano natin? Objective. Okay? So, ang pinaka-ASTM reference document natin for today class is yung ASTM C29. Specifically, class. Bulk density or unit weight and voids in aggregate. Okay? So, more or less, kasi kung titignan nyo kasi, no? ang bulk density, unit to weight, in a way, parehas yan. Okay? Parang, di ba, para lang makuha mo yung coin class, yung unit to weight, i-multiply mo lang yung density ng gravity. Okay? So, more or less, class, magpinsan yan. Kasi parang ang pinaka-difference lang nila class is yung constant na acceleration due to gravity. Okay? So, ang aparatos natin class for today, ito. So, titignan nyo class yung balance. So, saan ba dito yung balance? So, ang balance natin, class, yan, scope yan eh. Ito. Okay. So, yan yung balance natin. So, ang balance natin ngayon, class, more or less course aggregate kasi yung pinag-uusapan natin, no? So, yan, accurate siya, class, to the 0 0.05 kilograms. Or 50 grams. Okay? Pero ganun kasi accuracy na yung balance natin. Kung titignan kasi yung course aggregate, mabigat na yan. Okay. So, more or less, class, stick tayo to the 0 0.05 accuracy of balance. Okay. So, meron tayong thumping red class. So, yung thumping red natin, class, ganti itsura. So, more or less, class, isa lang siyang cylindrical metal. Ang diameter niya, class, is mga 16 mm. Okay. So, bakal lang yan. Okay. So, meron tayong volume measure class. So, yung volume measure natin, class, it's defined as, ito, a cylindrical container class is watertight with known dimensions. Okay. More or less class, mamamessure natin yan. Yung inner diameter niya class, tsaka yung inner height. Okay. Tapos meron tayong shovel or scoop. So more or less, yan lang yung pang scoop natin yung aggregate kasi parang pinaka gist na gagawin natin ngayon class. Maglalagay tayo ng aggregates dun sa uh, measure tapos yung top natin. Tapos meron tayong pail. Ito ba tayo? Mas alam natin yung tsura ng pill, di ba? Tsura ng pill class, syempre, hindi natin nalagyan tubig. So, at the end of the experiment, kasi class, supposedly, we're to get the weight of the aggregate, the measure, tapos yung water. So, kailangan ng pill class to store the water. Tapos for it to be transferred from the pill to the measure. So, more or less class, kailangan natin mag-transfer ng water dun sa measure. So, dapat yung measure natin class, water tight. So, wala siyang butas class. Kaya niya mag-handle ng tubig. Okay? So, dito na tayo sa procedures class. So, ano yung procedures natin class? So, first stop, dapat kumuha lang tayo ng uh, representative sample class. Okay? So, yun nga. Ang gandang representative sample class is kunin natin by quartering. So, yun yung pinakamadaling way talaga class or method. Para makuha ng uh, representative sample. Okay? So after natin makuha yung sample natin, class, kailangan natin i-ready yung measure. So paano natin i-ready yung measure, class, more or less, kukunin lang natin yung dimensions niya para makumpit natin yung uh, volume niya mamaya. Ayan, kapit is inner volume. So again, class, ang sinusolve dapat natin is yung inner volume. Okay? Kasi class, yun yung gagamitin natin. Siyempre, more or less, kasi kinukuha natin yan, yung volume ng aggregate. So kung titignan nyo, class, yung measure natin, no? yung measure natin, class, medyo may thickness yan. Yan, di ba? Kasi bakal yan. So, ang i-measure natin, class, yung inner dimensions para makuha natin yung inner volume. Okay? So, yun, class, pag na-ready na natin yung measure, class, pero pala tayong table sa pagpili ng measure. 
Yan. At depende sa lagi class kung ano yung maximum uh, nominal size ng aggregate natin. So, depende naman yung class, no? So, pag sinabi nominal, parang yan yung average in a way. In a way. Okay. So, yan. So, yan yung ito yung table natin class. Again, yung table natin class, bibili ka yung minimum volume ng measure na gagamitin dapat natin. Okay? For a given maximum size of course aggregate. Okay? So, yan. So, parang more or less experiment to class. Kukunin natin yung weight ng measure. Tapos, isasolve natin yung uh, volume ng measure. Okay? So, given this table class, dapat alam lang natin kung anong measure yung corresponding na gagamitin natin. Kasi kung titignan nyo class, paiba-iba yung uh, volume niya. Ready? Capacity class measure natin. Okay? Okay. So, step number three class, syempre, ang pinaka-gist lang kasi nang gagawin natin class, no? Lagay tayo ng aggregate dito. Diba? Nakapili na tayo anong measure. Ngayon, ilalagay natin class yung aggregate natin. Tapos, itatump natin class na para medyo parang mga level siya class. Okay, tapos in a way, class makompact siya. Okay? So, yan. So, ang galawan natin, class more or less of pinakadges, ito kasi yung standard. Okay? So, you measure hatiin mo into three equal volumes or like, since parehas naman yung diameter niya, class, no? Three equal heights. Okay? So, yung tatlong yan, class, yung first one-third, lalagyan mo ng, ano? O, titignan nyo, fill, no? First one-third. Tapos, I-level natin. Tapos, saka mo siya ito thump. So, ang thumping natin, class, gamit mo yung thumping rod, 25. Ang galawan, class, sa pag -thump, taas mo yung rod, bitawan mo. Para more or less, class, ang force lang na ihila dun sa rod, yung gravity. Kung baga, hindi mo siya pe-persign pa baba, bitawan mo lang, class. Taas mo yung rod, bitaw, mahuhulog siya. Gawin mo yung 25 times, class. Siyempre, evenly distributed over the surface. Okay, so kung pag ganyan class yung top view natin, top mo doon, top mo dyan, i-distribute mo yung thumping mo. Yung 25 blows na yun. Okay? So, ganun yung galawan class. So, more or less, pag taos ka ng 25 blows class, lagyan mo na yung two-thirds. Diba? Lagyan mo na aggregate. Tinap mo 25 times. Lagyan mo naman yung two-thirds na. So, more or less, lagyan na yun na. Yan. Aggregate. Okay. So, ang galawan natin, class more or less, dapat itatop mo siya to the point, class, na hindi ka nalalagpas, class, dito. Okay? Ba, ang lakas ng top mo, kasi more or less, yung thumping rod mo, lumagpas siya dun sa natop na nating una. So, mali na yun pag ganun. Dapat, class, supposedly, no? Pag nagtatop na tayo dun sa two-thirds, huwag natin i-penetrate yung previous layer. Okay? So, same procedure, class. Tapos, lastly, class, yun na. Punuin na natin to the brim, class, tapos, Tap ulit natin 25 times. Okay? So, after thumping, class, dun na. I-level na natin yung surface niya. So, ang gusto natin, class, no? Ito, diretso yan. Yan. Wala dapat masyadong nakaprotrude. Okay? So, anong gagamitin natin, class? Gamit yung fingers natin. Or anong straight edge. So, pwede na rin yung rod. Para ma-level yan, class. Okay? So, parang dapat, uh, medyo walang lalagpas dun sa uh, brim niya. Okay? Yeah. Tapos, uh, while yun nga, while leveling, or like, yeah, while leveling to class, dapat huwag natin siya i-compress. Okay? So, after nun class, doon na natin makukuha yung second data natin, yung weight number 2 defined as, yan. Lagay na natin class yung weight nung uh, measure at saka yung aggregate na level doon sa uh, weighing scale natin. So, yun na yung second data natin class. Okay? Pero natin magawa ng class, kukuha na tayo ng uh, pail with water. So, pupunuin na natin yung tubig. So, more or less yung tubig na yun. Class, no? Hanggang medyo mag-overflow para parang to the brim siya. Parang ginawa lang natin class, pinuno natin yung voids ng tubig. Tapos doon na natin class, kukunin again yung ating third theta. Technically, fourth na siya. Kasi yung unang theta natin, di ba yung weight tsaka yung volume. So, ito na pala yung pangatlong data. So, yung last data natin, class 4, and final data natin, yun. Yung weight class ng measure with aggregate tapos with water. Okay? So, gamit class yung mga nakuha nating data class, yun. I-calculate na natin kung ano yung objective, kung ano natin yung bulk density, tapos yung percentage of points. Okay? So, summarizing class, again, yun nga. Kuha tayo ng 
uh, represented symbol by quartering method. Okay. Tapos, i-measure natin class yung dimensions nung ating uh, ito, measure. Kunin natin yung volume gamit yung mga na-measure natin dimensions. Okay. Tapos, kunin na rin natin yung weight ng empty measure. Okay. Tapos, yun. Atingin natin class into three equal parts yung ating measure. Tapos, yun. For each one-third class, lagay natin ng uh, aggregate. Tamp 25 blows. Okay. Tapos dun sa pinakalas class, dapat i-level natin. Dapat class yung aggregate natin, walang lalagpas dito sa kanyang brim. Okay. So, after nun, level na natin, kunin na natin yung weight niya. So, weight class na aggregate tsaka yung measure. Okay. After nun, class, lagyan natin ng tubig, tapos kunin natin yung weight ng aggregate measure tsaka yung water. Okay. Tapos yun na. After na nun, okay na experiment natin, class, doon na tayo sa computations. Okay? So, again, class. Yan. So, manon, panorin natin yung video. Okay? So, ano yung video natin, class? Props class kay, lakihan natin yan. So, credits class kay TC3. Okay? Ito yung video niya. So, more or less sa video na to class, ipapakita niyo may meron tayong three methods of compaction. Ah, wait lang. Hindi ko pala ata na ayos yung ano. Para marinig natin. Stop ko lang yung share class na. Tapos i-share ulit natin yung screen. Yan. Dapat may sound. Yan. Para rinig nyo class ko ano yung nasa video. Okay? 19. Unit weight of course aggregate. So more or less class sa kanya. Hindi na siya magka-quartering. No? Sabihin na natin ito na yung nakuha niya. Ang representative sample dun sa quartering. Uh, isipin nyo lang kasi yun yung apat. Siguro yun natin yun. Tapos kung ano siya ng one-fourth, linagay niya dito. Okay. So tuloy natin, class. We're going to be using the measure. The measure that we use. Hmm. Yan pala, class, no? So yung measure na ginagamit, more or less kinakalibrate nila yun. Paano nila kinakalibrate, class? Uh, yeah. Lalagyan nila ng tubig, class, no? So may measure nila yung supposedly na temperature ng water. Density kasi class ng water depende sa temperature. No? Okay. So check nila class. Supposedly gamit class yung yun, yung temperature. Iwi nila ta class. Bubuhin nila ng tubig. Okay. Tapos yun. I-divide lang. So kunin lang yung weight. So meron tayong density. Di ba class? Is equal to di ba mass over volume. Okay? So, ito, yung measure glass na may tubig, yan, yeah, kukunin nila yung mass ng tubig. Tapos gamit yung density doon at a certain temperature. A certain temperature glass, yun, makukuha mo yung volume. So, for this, yan yung parang pinakasyahin nila. Tama pa ba yung volume ng no? ating, ano, measure? Okay? So, balik tayo kasi sa pinang procedure. Sa ating class, pa rin na tayo mag-check ng calibration chuchu. Yun. Rekta na natin kunin ko na yung actual dimensions ng inner volume. And that's based on the size of the aggregate that we're going to be testing. It has to be calibrated at least once a year. When we calibrate it, what we're doing is getting the volume of the measure. So yan, class, sasabihin niya kung paano kinakalibrate. Um, more or less daw, class, once a year ginagawa yun. Check nila kung tama pa ba. The amount of material that we need before we start approximately 125 to 200% of the amount required to fill the measure that we're using. There's three methods of compacting. So ito na class, no? So i-explain niya meron tayong three methods of uh, compaction. So ang pin-explain class, ang pinakamadali kasi, rodding. Yung itatop natin by rod. So hindi lang yun class yung method for compaction. Pero again class, for our experiment, yun yung ginawa natin. Yun rin kasi yung ginagawa more or less sa and uh, the lab, right? In your material and your measure, the first one is rotting. So yeah, we have three methods class. First one is yung rotting. And that's used for maximum number. Dito class, ipapakita nyo yung tatlo. So meron tayo nyo, first la, rotting, tapos meron tayo, yan, for a uh, range of nominal sizes. Okay? So one and one half or less. Okay, kapag yun class yung size ng aggregate mo, rodding tayo. Nominal aggregate size of an inch and a half or less. And then there's jigging. 
That's plus inch and a half material. So, jigging class, no? Again, from ang range na nung ating aggregate para gawin tayo ng jigging class, yan. One and one half to five inches. Explain niya last. Ipapakita niya kung paano gawin. Up to five inches. And then finally, they're shoveling. Shoveling is only... So, more or less class yung shoveling. Ginagamit lang yan kapag in-specify mismo dun sa lab test. Okay? So, more or less class. Yung range natin again, yung kanina. It's either rodding or jigging. Only used when specified. So, when you do the rotting, you do it in three equal lifts, 25 rods per lift. On the first lift, make sure you don't strike the bottom. So, yun class na yung rotting natin, as per yung nasa experiment natin. Forcibly, on the second and third lift, you want to penetrate the lift that you're uh, compacting, but you don't want to penetrate into the previous lift. So yun, class, sinabi niya rin, no? Meron tayong limiting factors. So, di ba, three layers yun, class. So, more or less, pag nag-rod tayo, class, dapat yung rod, thumping rod natin, hindi siya penetrate, class, dun sa previous layer. Jigging. You're gonna lift it up. Approximately two inches. So, ganyan yung jigging, class. So, ang jigging, class, parang, uh, i-ano mo lang siya, di ba? More or less, ito yung... On one side, let it fall with a hard slapping blow. Ultimately... Yan. So, ang jigging, class, itataas mo lang siya, no? For mga about 2 inches. So, parang yan. Tapos, ibabagsak mo. Tapos, nung nasa other side naman, tataas mo, babagsak mo, class. The other side, 2 inches. Let it hit, hit with a hard slapping blow. You do that for 25 times on each side for a total of 50. Again, you have to alternate between sides. So, this time class yan, 25 times for each side. So, all in all, class 50 plus. Inulit ko lang siya sabi siya. It's one continuous lift. As you discharge your material, you need either your shovel or your scoop. Yan. So, pag shoveling naman class more or less, wala na siyang hindi mo siya atin into three layers. This time class, continue siya hanggang mapuno. Okay. So, para ang pinakaano lang dito, class, para nangihintayin mo lang na mahulog lahat. Kung pangini mo siya, ikakompact at anyway. Okay? Ang gusto nyo lang, class, dapat daw yung ating shovel, hindi siya tataas na more than 2 inches from the mouth of the measure. Okay? Kasi, class, pag sumobra na daw sa 2 inches, meron tayong segregation. Sinasabi ng segregation, class, yan na yung mas mabigat yung mas mauuna. So, kung titignan mo, class, yung itsura, no? Pag hinati mo sa gitna, lahat ng mabibigat. So, yung malalaking bato nasa baba. Tapos, pa konti na siya na pa konti. Pa smaller sizes class. Para na-segregate na siya. Lahat ng malalaki, tapos yung medyo malaki, tapos yung malilit na yung pinaka nasa taas. Ayaw natin class yung segregation kasi more or less. Ayun. Uh, bias na siya. Gusto kasi natin class dapat uh, equally mix. Make sure you know more than 2 inches away from the top rim of your measure as you discharge. And you want to make sure as much as possible to avoid segregation. So, best to work around the measure. Ayan. Tapos another way daw, class, para maiwasan segregation, ikutin mo daw, class. So, dito ka at one point, tapos habang linalagyan mo, class, parang ihalo mo. Parang go around, class, the mat uh, when discharging the aggregate. Okay? I'll demonstrate all three. But I'm not going to do the... So, yun. So, ang gagawin niya, class, is demonstrate yung tatlo. Pero hindi niya gagawin for every layer. So, ang gagawin niya, class, first layer, papakita niya yung rodding. Second layer, class, second two-thirds. So, second uh, thirds, or two-thirds layer, papakita niya, class, yung jigging. Tapos, dun sa last layer, class, yun na yung shell building. Entire procedure for all three. I'll use the first lift, I'll do the rodding. Second lift, I'll do the jigging, and I'll finish off with the third lift of shoveling. So the first lift, I'm going to be riding. I fill it one-third full. Okay, so it's just one-third full. Level with fingers. Use the rod. 24, 25 strokes. Yeah, so you level now. Yeah. So, more or less daw, class, in terms no, of riding, yun nga, mas magandang parang, yeah, yun yung as per ASTM eh. 
kunin mo kalas, no? Taas mo yan. Bitawan mo. Taas, bitaw, taas, bitaw. 25 strokes. Yan. Tapos be careful, class, not to strike the bottom of the measure. So, ganito class ang running. Again, on the second and third lift, make sure you don't penetrate into the previous lift. You can mark the previous lift before you start there. Ayan. So, ganito naman class yung isa niyang technique para hindi na tumagos class. Diba? Kasi ayaw ka natin tumagos yung tamping red natin class dun sa uh, previous layer. So, yun. Minesure niya class, no? Parang ginanyan niya dun sa brim. Tapos, hindi na niya aalis yung kamay niya dun class niya. Kinarad na niya. Ah, mag maganda nga palang ganyan, no? Kaya huwag mo nang bitahawan class para sure na hindi ka na lumagpas. So, hindi na niya gagamitin class kasi diba for the second uh, layer, jigging siya. Again, para lang makita natin, no? Pero sa ating experiment, class more or less, full rod tayo. Ayan. So, ganun ang jigging class, no? Taas mo lang yung uh, one side, sabagsak mo. Tapos opposite, another side, the previous side class, no? The other side, ganun ulit. Ulitin mo lang class, 25 each side, so dapat 50 lahat. Hmm. So, ganun class. Okay. So, again, class, for our experiment, strictly riding lang tayo for the three layers. Okay? So, dito class, pinakita nyo lang three different methods in compaction. Compacting the aggregate within the measure. Okay? Ayan. So, more or less class, no? Pag okay na, di ba? Natapos na natin. Three layers for each layer class. 25 stroke of riding. So, dapat class more or less dito na. Ipapakita niya kung paano mo siya i-level. So, technically class, again, gagamitan niya ng fingers or yung straight edge. So, sa kanya class, meron siyang straight edge. Ito. Yan yung pang level niya. Parang... Parang flat metal lang yun siya class. Ayan. Okay. So, panorin na natin. Ayan. So, more or less kasi mga bato nga naman yan class. So, hindi mo talaga masusuper level yan. Okay. So, para ang pinaka-technique na lang daw dito class, parang tansyain mo. Lahat ng mga nakalabas, yung di ba pag ang stone kasi irregular shape yan. So, possibly pag titignan mo ay level class, meron pa rin yung mga nakalabas na ganyan. Na kapag kahit anong gusto gawin mong level class, iikot-ikot lang sila. So, tansyain mo na lang class. Kung ano yung nakalabas class, dapat meron ding force dito. So, kung papalakihin natin class, no? Pag may nakalabas na ganyan class, tansyain mo kung ano yung volume ng nakalabas class. Parang meron din naka uh, area of air dito. Parang para lang ma-level in a way class. Okay, ganyan yung gusto niya mangyari. So, para makita mo class, syempre gusto mo silipin mo siya o eye level dun sa uh, elevation class ng ating measure. Nagawin niya lang Yan na class yung eye level. 
projections above the top of the rim, make sure they balance out with the voids that are below the top of the rim. All right. You have a level, you're going to weigh it. Ayan, so pag okay na class, feeling mo na level na niya, i-weigh na natin. Dito na yung weight na natin. Hindi siya pala pinakita kanina, no? So supposedly, class, i-weigh rin natin yung MT. MT measure. Okay. I-first data natin. Tapos, again, kukun natin yung dimensions, yung inner volume, copy natin inner volume, yung second data natin. So ito na dapat yung third data natin, class. Ayan, so more or less, yun. Yeah, kinaya na rin natin yun. 0.05 kg. So, titignan yung data natin. Class, accurate siya to the 0.05 kg burn. Every 50 grams. So, kanila nakapound kasi. Okay. Tapos yung class. After na yan, class, no? Kunin natin yung last data natin. Again, lalagyan. Wala kasi dito sa video eh. So, lagyan mo ng tubig, class. I-weigh mo na lang siya. So, yun yung last data natin. So, para last data natin, class is yung weight ng measure, aggregate, tsaka yung water. Okay? So, with that class, pag na-common lahat ng data natin, yun na. So, pag na-common na natin class yung data natin, yan. Yan. Makocompute muna class ito. Yan. So, ang ikocompute natin class, syempre yung volume of measure. So, yung volume of measure class, pare-parehas yan. Ah, ito, ito pala class na. So again, yung given data natin class, again, gagamitan natin na siya ng, so sabihin na natin mo na limang trials, no? Yeah. Gagamitan natin class ng SLU ID number natin dun sa missing data. Tapos ito class, so more or less daw class, dapat meron tayo, ito. Okay, meron tayong nominal, maximum nominal size of aggregate class 25. So as per yung table natin dito class, no? Ang gagamitin dapat natin capacity ng measure is yung 10 liters or the one class with an inside diameter of ito tapos an inside height of yan. Okay? So titignan nyo class yan para pare-parehas na tayo. Ako na nagsabi kung ano yung inside diameter natin tapos kung ano yung inside height. So gamit yan class again, volume ng cylinder, yun yung volume ng measure natin. Yun yung ilalagay nyo dito. Okay? Tapos para naman dito class, no? Yan. Ito yung ating formula dito sa baba. Formulas for computation. So, for bulk density class, dapat yung weight 2 natin minus weight 1 over yung volume. Kapag naman percentage of voids class, no? Yan, meron tayong weight 3. Weight 3 minus weight 2 over volume, that's 100%. So, ito class yung definition ng monotations natin. Okay? So, titignan nyo class 5 trial. So, dapat kukunin natin class para sa final data natin class. Kukunin natin yung average bulk density. So, ito class yung formula natin. So, i-add yeah, lang class yung bulk density ng limang trials over number of trials. So, divide by 5. Same class sa percentage of voids. Okay? So, more is class, ganun yung experiment natin. Okay? So, in terms of computation naman class nung ating dito, stable. So, again class, no, ang gusto ko lang dito class, sample. Computations lang tayo. Kung na ipakita lahat class. Ipakita nyo lang more or less kung ano yung yan. Siguro yung sa trial to lang. Basta isa. One uh, solution class for each unique, uh, yan, each unique formula na ginamit nyo. Siyempre, ipakita rin natin class paano mo kayo na yung average bulk tapos yung average percentage. Okay? So, sex. in terms of yan, yun nga, yung parang pinaka-formula natin class or yung solution natin class. So, may video ulit ako dyan. Ilalagay ko rin naman class, no? Yan. So, parang yan. So, supposedly, ito daw yung problem natin class. Paano mo siya isosolve? Okay? So, parang ganito class yan. Okay. Ilagay ko na rin yung video natin doon sa lecture. So, more or less, parang ganyan class, no? And para mabilis, calc function tayo class. So, panoorin nyo lang yung video class, no? So, more or less, ito yung pinaka-steps natin class. Ito yung pinaka-steps natin class gamit yung calc function, no? So, dapat meron lang tayo working formula. Tapos may separator tayo. Tapos yan class. Sundan nyo class. Kung ano yung galawan ng calc function. So, working formula, calc function, unknowns. After mo mabigay yung lahat ng unknowns class, lalabas yung sagot for each working formula. So, para magka-loop class, in this na i-clear mo or i-on mo, pindutin mo na equal sign class, babalik ulit siya dun sa unknowns. Tapos may cycle na siya. Hanggang mabuo mo lahat class yung table natin. Okay? So, with that class, yeah, that ends class hour. Uh, video discussion for experiment number four, the entitled, ito. Okay. 
Yeah. So, okay na class. Yeah, see me at the next video. Thank you.